this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a target following rocket. First, a little setup. You can disable the fire or ability you're going to put it on. Then set the position that the rocket's going to occupy to a vector of zero, just so it's out of the way. Set up the appearance of the rocket. You can have it different for each team if you want to do that. Great effect, visible to team of event player. And then for the other one, it'd be opposite team of team of event player. Whatever you want it to look like. The position will be the rocket position. Radius of however big you want it. And then set a player variable to the last created entity, which will be the appearance you just made. And this would be for the opposite team. Like I said, visible to opposite team of team of event player. It would be red instead of blue. Again, it's at R, same radius, stored to different variable. I did B for blue and E for red because R is already taken. Then to start the rocket itself is the button held that you're going to use for it. Set R to the I position of the event player, which will be yourself. Set another player variable. I chose T for target to the player closest to the reticle, so whoever you're approximately aiming at. Be on the opposite team of the team of the event player, just so you won't end up targeting anyone on your team. And then to make things easy, set another variable. I chose F for flight. Set that to true to say that the rocket will now be in the air. Then for the motion of the rocket, teleport the blue part of it, which we set a rule or two ago, to where the rocket will be. Teleport the red part of it to where the rocket will be. Have a small weight and loop, so it'll always be going wherever the rocket is set to be. Then the ongoing aim for it is player variable F true. Chase variable at rate R, the variable where the rocket is, to P, which is the position of the target. The rate, just to see it, I you can put it pretty low or you could turn it up though if you make it too fast it might you know move too fast for itself and end up running into walls have a small loop or wait I skipped this didn't I set the position variable to the I position of the variable you're storing the target in and when you do the target like this, it'll store the character itself on the other team. That's why you have to do uh, this step, just so it always knows where that character is. Have a loop. doesn't need to be too big because this will always be moving. The only reason to make it shorter would be to have the position of the character update faster. And then loop if it's in the air. And then you have the sight of the rocket itself to help it avoid walls. Set variable, I chose S for sight, to raycast hit position starting at the position of the rocket ending at the addition of the rocket and 
the direction towards it be from the rocket to the character have a have a little wait and loop it so it'll know where it wants to go and then for when it hits the target distance between the rocket and the player it's going for it's less than 0.8 can grow or shrink it as you see fit play effect of explosion damage players within radius the at a center of the rocket just so it always will always follow with the rocket can adjust the radius I just threw two in there because it's kind of reasonable then damage opposite team of team of event player check it on surfaces and enemy barriers because that's how it's supposed to work damage by event player and then however much you want damage stop chasing the rocket position just so it doesn't keep trying to go to the target after it hits then set R back to a vector of all zeros set the target back to zero so you're no longer targeting anyone <coughs> and then set F to false so it's no longer in the air if it hits a wall you'd uh, be checking if R and S are within a distance that's the position of the rocket and whatever the rocket's seeing when it's aiming so it would either be the wall or the target itself and this would all be the same as if it hits the target so you can just select all and then copy them all and then just to have a lock on crosshair to know where you're aiming you can create an icon visible all players all teams at the position of T which is the target and if it is specifically T it'll only follow the player that it is that the rocket is following I have it as a red X that shows when it's off screen so you're always knowing where it's going and then you can have create an icon visible to the event player that is at the eye position of the player closest to rect reticle so you kind of have a little bit of a wall hack and this would be a white X just because it's not currently targeting and then it's not showing off screen just so it's not like seeing behind you or anything so I'll get into a game and show it off traveling to Hanamura I'll be watching over you. See, that's where the target X is by default. And the white X is moving because it's on whoever's closest to my reticle. Now if I shoot, it'll follow. Get a better place to aim from follows without having to worry about it you can see they're curving a little bit but we we're kind of close Starting to show it off so I'll do another example of it
you see even from that distance with her running away from where I originally aimed continued to the point when it could hit her oh, oh, where does it hurt? there again you saw it went through right here but it hit over here so you can see that it curves to meet whoever is being aimed at so that's all for this video and thank you for watching